those many, and there are many more reasons than that. <clears throat> By the way, before getting on to the main thing about Russia, um, I'd like to know your uh, thoughts on the fact that the Food and Drug Administration told uh, many of its top execs, well, execs would be employees, to gas up their vehicles and go buy food. I've received uh, confirmed information from several uh, people that work at uh, large banking institutions that they should do the same and that they would uh, should brace for uh, a cyber attack within the next uh, few days, if not less. Whether that happens or not, I have no idea. And I'm not a chicken little, the sky is falling, doom and gloom person at all, but I just wanted to put that out there. <clears throat> also, too, before getting on to Russia and Ukraine, um, has anybody noticed that nobody's talking about the coup anymore? Anybody notice that? That, <clears throat> and I don't mean that jokingly, although it's kind of humorous. I have mentioned that to people. I mean, and, and it's and it's odd that no one notices this. Very odd. But no one's talking about it anymore. The narrative has fall has fallen on uh, the coup. This is this is version 2.0 of the coup, which is conflict. And the reason why all this is happening outside of U.S. and all these other places is because they're trying to cover up for how much they fucked up and how obvious it is what they were doing. Yeah, you know what, before I go forward, let's check this out. Does it make sense now? Why is that glowing? It shouldn't be glowing. That means there's a chemical in there. There shouldn't be any chemical because that's just taking a sample, right? There shouldn't be any chemicals on the tip of that swab. Why? Because that would... It, it would obviously interact with the sample itself and it won't be a proper reading, a proper sample taken, studied and whatnot. So why was that glowing green? That means there's a chemical already on it. That shouldn't be the case. Anyhow, you see. Um, that's not funny at all because what I'm about to say is really serious. And I'll first start out by saying something that I'll end with, and that uh, looking through history, and I'm only 49 years old, I wasn't around for the Cuban Missile Crisis. We've never been closer to World War III right now than we have since the Cuban Missile Crisis. The world hasn't. There's a lot of mistakes being made right now by a lot of different entities. People keep wagging their um, purpose. finger at NATO and the United States, and they, of course, have blame in some of the stuff that I'm about to talk about here. But there are a lot of entities to blame, but I'm not in Entities. Even he realizes. It. You guys, don't judge. He may look funny, whatever. Some of you will judge. I know you will, and you will not admit it, but it's fine. But... Some of you might be thinking, why would I listen to this weird guy that is not holistic, that doesn't take care of himself, he's overweight, look, he has no neck, things like that, right? But I'm telling you, this guy is one of the smartest guys in the entire planet alive, okay? I know it doesn't make sense, especially if you find his page and you look into it, you'll be like, wait, what? It's only if you judge by face value, stuff of what he shows and what he talks about and things like that. But when you really truly listen, which is kind of difficult to most for, for them to do because of the vocabulary, the concepts that he brings up, they're like almost a waste of time to most people who are not into wisdom, philosophy and all this stuff. And that's not how, what even what he's talking about, but that's what he shares because he has so much knowledge. Um, and yes, he can be very arrogant, he's, he, arrogant and egotistical, even though he's not, he's just confident. He knows what he knows, and that's that. But, um... I'm not interested in blame. I'm interested in fact analyzation. 
Oh yeah, so what I was saying is that this guy also realizes, hmm, there's something else other than human involved here. Or, in other words, something is against humanity. Haven't you noticed how, if it's not one thing or another, it's always about death, 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 death. Once people started to realize that this goof that he's talking about, you know, the, the pricker, you know, the one that pr pricks you. When people sort of find out, eh, what the, there, there's something wrong here that this is not as dangerous or deadly as it was. And, oh, here we go, go, World War Three. it's happening, this and that, because we want to cover up all the fuck-ups that we did. I'm telling you guys, even he realizes that there's en other entities, and he chooses his words wisely and carefully. And, um, I'm really good at weeding up BS. I get sent an enormous amount of just tinfoil hat rubbish I'm e able to easily dismiss it now uh, let's first start off by what everybody is talking about and uh, Putin Vladimir Putin said he's uh, put his uh, nuclear deterrence uh, forces on high alert this is a threat of mere words um, due to uh, Europe also that was reiterated by uh, his uh, deputy um, I, his name is Lavrov. He actually reiterated that fact. These are threats of mere words due to what the Europe and the United States are doing, where we're shipping over and has been confirmed by every outlet that exists on this earth. Oh, shipping over tons and tons of heavy arms vis-a-vis uh, -vis stingers and javelins and other things to Ukraine. We're apparently, we're getting them across the Polish border, as has been indicated. I made two predictions so far, and they've both proven to be 100% correct. That doesn't mean what I'm going to say in this video is going to be proven out, but it's uh, perfectly logical and entirely sensible. First, I've been saying for a very long time that Russia's going to roll heavy on Ukraine, and I never in my life of all these videos that I've made, so many people say, oh, it's not going to happen. It's like, well, it's, it did happen. I said yesterday, yesterday was an extremely high volume of people on live stream, so I have a tremendous amount of witnesses. I said it over and over and over again yesterday in live stream. I said that uh, watch what happens within the next 72 hours because Russia has not even um, started uh, to put the ingredients on the stove, if you will. They, they really have not. You know, the resistance that we've seen from the Ukrainians, fine, you know, the Ukrainians are, you know, rebelling against, uh, you know, Russia. That's well and fine, but Russia hadn't even cleared their throat yet, you know, like a singer clears their throat right before they're singing. I said you would see, I said this to hundreds and hundreds of people, there was over 600 people in the live stream last night, that uh, Russia would drastically increase force on Ukraine. Um, I said this to people in the live stream, uh, that's proven to be 100% correct. A lot of stuff has actually happened just today. And also two indications of what is coming immediately upon Ukraine. A lot of people are being very short-sighted. I mean, whatever anybody thinks about Russia one way or the other, they, they have not cleared their throat, much less begun to sing, if you will, in Ukraine. They have not. I don't care what anybody feels about Ukraine versus Russia or vice versa. I'm talking about just empirical and existential facts. Um, right now, there are several convoys headed into Ukraine from Belarusia and Russia, and there are plenty of satellite images, don't take my word for it, uh, go look them up. There are 40 mile long convoys, there's 20 plus mile long convoy, there's a 17 mile long convoy. The images on some of these convoys are not just single file of vehicles that long, they're actually abreast by three. So the convoy is not only many countless miles long, it's not a single string of vehicle after vehicle, they're, they're side by side in a row of three. They're three wide. They're packed three wide and that long, headed into uh, Ukraine on several different fronts. Um, there are multiple reports, including uh, video evidence of a thermobaric device being used. I forget the town that it was used in. This is uh, an extremely wicked device, and it's right underneath a nuke itself. Um, there are countless... Uh, undeniable confirmation, I forget the exact city, it escapes my mind, I should have written that down here. I looked at the city many times of uh, cluster munitions used, uh, cluster munitions are random, I mean they, they, they're not uh, precise, you know, they, they basically call it uh, carpet uh, munitions where you're literally peppering the ground and you're hitting anything and everything, the dog, your brother, your sister, so that has been confirmed. 
Um, these are supposedly illegal in the use of civilians, but I mean, what's illegal? There's, you know, there's uh, everything is allowed, and what is it? Uh, there's no such thing as uh, everything is allowed in uh, love and war. And check this out. I have found videos that are not from the mainstream. They're from people that are there on the ground, this and that. And there's one where it shows uh, 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 the man is Ukrainian. He's saying, look, what's happening is Ukrainians are going around. And, and that's what he thinks is what he sees is he's seen that there were Ukrainian men he said he specifically said Ukrainian army uh, army men, and this guy was Ukrainian himself. Okay, in Ukraine, and he's saying the Ukrainian. What's really happening is the Ukrainians again. This is what he thinks because of what he sees. The Ukrainians are going around. The Ukrainian army men are going around shooting up all the some of these buildings, and then they come back around pretending to be Russians, and then bring their cameras and all this stuff, all their propaganda. Not propaganda, but uh, uh, media to record and say that it was the Russians. Again, it was the Ukrainian that said that Ukrainian men did this. I don't think it's Ukrainian men, though they may look like Ukrainian men and sound like Ukrainian men. It's not actual Ukrainian men that this Ukrainian man was referring to that he's seen do these things. That it was Ukrainian soldiers doing this. And then they were blaming it on the Russians. Okay, so, and there's another one where a woman confronts a group of them. And he says, well, you're not Russian. And she says, what, what are you doing here? And he, the man speaks in Ukrainian. And she's like, wait, what? Who are you? You're not Ukrainian. What are you? She says, what are you? And then he says, we're just, do we're just doing an exercise. And she's like, exercise? What kind of exercise? You guys are playing with lives here. You guys are going to die soon. You guys better leave. Things like that is what this woman is saying, this civilian woman. And the man, you can tell, he's kind of like, what the fuck is really going on here? Like, you can tell he's confused himself. And he's just saying, man, just, just please leave. Uh, you, you don't want this exercise to get worse. They keep using the word exercise. And check this out, I might as well set, show it to you now. Here we go. You be the judge. When we were sent here, we were told that we were going as peacekeepers. And it wasn't Mr. P U T I N and his men and country and women and all that that said this. It's something else that infiltrated. I swear to you, because this is a small reserve. It's easy to infiltrate small reservists, uh, re uh, reserve, uh, uh, reserve stations and stuff like that, of, of reserve and National Guardsmen, things like that, of different countries, of any country. It's easy, man. Uh, uh, because I used to be in the National Guard for about a year after I got out of the active army, so I know what it's like. I, they can easily hack that fucking computer and say, hey, you guys have to go here. This is uh, our, the president speaking and this and that. And obviously, for some, because of how everything's built up, they're going to be like, oh, shit, this is real. So they have to go, right? Is what they would think. And look, it says, uh, uh, like it says, that they were going as peacekeepers to DPR and LPR. But in fact, a war has now broken out and we are aggressors. Even though we came as peacekeepers, we are now considered aggressors. And I'm not yelling at you guys. I'm just excited. Not in a good way, not in a bad way. It's just, hey, I'm disseminating information that I've been trying to warn you guys about in so many ways. And yes, this is coming our way. I'm telling you guys, look that way, but something else is going to happen. And no, it's not any country, guys. And no, it's not a group of country, even though it's actual men, some of them. There's going to be robots and other things, I swear. AI, things like that, literally. We all have it already. AI in a small robot that, remember how they have the, the um, 
uh, 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 SWAT units, even they have robots that move around that you can move with a remote control, right? That, in a sense, that the AI that usually takes over sometimes is not even that. It's just it's going to be programmed to move by hackers and things like that. And sometimes it's not humans. I swear it sounds weird, but I'm telling you guys, there's something against humanity. It's obvious. It's against humanity. They're putting us against each other to annihilate each other. And once we don't, there, something else worse is going to happen. I tried to warn you guys this for many years. I know it sounds crazy, but there's nothing we can do about it. Nothing. All you can do is try to stay in high vibration and stop listening to the mainstream media. This is not mainstream media. This is a normal person that added this in there. Okay, I never get my information from mainstream media. Are you kidding me? Goodness. Those liars. You notice a lot of them are going to be very young. Look. He's not saying that that's his mission. He's just saying the truth. Like when we got here, this is basically what ended up happening. Basically, we were sent here to try to kill them, even though we were sent here to be peacekeepers. But when we got here, things changed. But wait, wait till you see what everybody, all the other men say. And watch their faces. They're like little kids. I mean, look at this dude. You can tell he really is saying like, Mom, please take me out of here. Like, what the fuck is going on? You can tell all of these dudes are like, just barely turn 18, 19, not even 20 years old. Some are probably even 17. They were all lied to and told that obviously except for this guy, this guy's older, but he's probably a commander and this and that. And wait till I show you other videos where it shows people when they're saying too, like I think it's this one. And look, it's not even, again, they think it's this man saying the things that they were supposed to go do. But I'm telling you, you'll see what I mean in a bit. Interesting words, I swear. What did I say? Something about against humanity. It's always bloodshed. If it wasn't the prickers, once they found out that people were finding out, they need to find a way to cover that up. Get people worried about other things. Because <laughs> this is a worldwide thing. It's not just one country thing. This is what I'm saying. It's against humanity. It really is. <laughs> Look at how old do you think this guy is? Oh, look, he even says his birthday, and you can tell he he's not lying. That's a he, he is that young. Goodness, man. So he's barely what 20, 22, I think. Yeah, twenty-two. Because uh, no way. So that's four to so 24, I believe. But look how young he looks. He looks even younger than 24. And, and it seems either whether it's true or not fully, it seems that they're being also maybe guided to say some of these things. Okay, that was not it. That was not the one. Let's go to... Which one was it? Which one was it? Here we go. What do you see here? Uh, read carefully military exercises you don't go to kill when we, we're we're told I'm telling you we I went through this and I was like, wow, this is crazy how realistic there is. This is. 
It was. It looked like real blood and everything. There was just not real bullets, obviously, and not real explosives. Even though the explosions were crazy loud and so powerful, they just didn't have shrapnels and they were controlled. But it seemed and felt so real. And then there were people who were pretending to be from the other country with real accents and everything. And they, they, they I felt it. It was crazy. You could, And I would look at uh, my comrades and I could see that some of them were like, they didn't know how to deal with the situation because they were good actors. Meaning the other, the, 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 yeah, crisis actors, if you want to call it that. And we were told that, it, obviously, that is not a, we're not, it's not a real thing. We don't have to really kill. We don't have real bullets anyways. They probably didn't have real bullets anyways because they went as peacekeepers, guys. They went to an exercise. You military men, what is, what is it known when we say we're going to do an exercise, an FTX? Even at the FTX, even at the final fucking exercise, right? And that looks so real and feels so real. And some of them do have real bullets flying around, but they're like really high up and you can hear them and feel them and things like that. But still, it's scary and this and that. So they probably train on the FTX and then they, they're like, this is the final FTX. And it's just an exercise. But we were lied to. And so now we're here not knowing what the fuck is going on. It was an exercise. See, I have a video. I didn't want to release it because I was like, man, people are going to think I'm fucking crazy. I released it about, I didn't release it. I recorded it about two days ago. And I was talking about how, look, I found videos where people had fucking shower shoes. Why would people have sandals? Meaning these people. Meaning, I found a video where it said a, band, a, a, a Russians abandoned their convoy and this and that, right? Look, no army, I don't care how weak you are, no army will abandon anything. They will death before dishonor because they're already there. They're already in enemy lines. Hell no, I'm not going to be taken captive, captive. Fuck that. Especially when I have so many men here. You shouldn't say maybe some, yeah, ran or surrendered or whatever, but very, very, very few would really surrender. Most would be captured, okay? And these guys, I guarantee you, they were, yeah, they were captured, like kind of surrendered and stuff. But I'm saying, what, what I was saying about that one uh, um, convoy, this, this, you could tell us a Ukrainian man, he's like, wow, look at this, this is so weird. And when you see the vehicles, guys, I, ha I, I kept copies of it, I won't have time right now to look for it, but the vehicle was very f cheaply fake, it was cheaply made to uh, look and appear, and it just had a stupid little computer screen, it wasn't even a real military uh, vehicle, like it was make-believe, you can tell people were like, what the fuck is this, what's going on here, what is this vehicle? Like, what the fuck? You could see the headrest. They were just like normal little fucking uh, uh, car seats with little silly little seat belts. And then the headrests were fucking so cheaply made. It seemed like it was... And I don't even want to mention it, uh, blame it on any other country. But we all know the, the, the producers of very cheap products, right? That, are, that, that we all know a lot of people fear them because they say that's where uh, the 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 some of the bit back bud came from right those who have knees that are shy um it's just that that's a brevity flip those words hopefully you can figure it out uh but it's not even the people not even their government government from the one i'm just kind of referencing in a sense but that's where that material came from and, and again, it's, it's not a judgment, it's a, an observation and it's true and it's known. That a lot of cheap materials and products come from that area. Okay, but the point is, is why was it doing it in this fake military vehicle? And the, the Ukrainian guy was like, look at this, this is so weird. It was brand new, there was not even a single 
touch of dirt, nothing. It was weird. And then you go, and then he moves as I look at their gear. And then it looked like they were going to go camping, I swear to you. Like their products, they had their hygiene kits. We don't take fucking hygiene kits when we're going to go fucking invade someone. Are you kidding me? We need that space for as much ammo as... uh, Ammo and ammo and ammo. I was going to say food, but fuck no. We don't even take food when we're going to invade something. Are you kidding me? And they had all this cute little bundled up extra clothing and all this stuff. And then the main thing that stood out to me, it was that, uh, um, and again, it was all cheap material, cheap bags and stuff like that. And and there's no military that would do this. No military that would do this to their soldiers. They will get the best materials and all that. Trust me, why would you give cheap shit unless they were disposable? But anyways... The main thing that stood out was some blue fucking shower shoes. And it's like, what? You don't have time to shower to, to at all. Because you're going to invade. There's going to be so much bloodshed. Meaning if you really think you're going to invade, you wouldn't take shower shoes. Yet I found shower shoes. So yes, these people thought they were going for an exercise. Meaning it's a make-believe, pretend And Ukrainians, the real Ukrainians, are obviously really defending themselves against what they think it's an invading country. No one one wanted to go. Who the fuck is this people? And I believe it. I believe this man that he was told this. Because of how unprepared they are. No fires. Come on. Are you fucking kidding me? People, please realize. See beyond what you're being told. And I might be being emotional right now. I'm emotional because I care for you. I care for the whole world equally. We're being fucked with. Even the bad. Even the people who truly do have a, like some kind of racism in their hearts and this and that. They're being controlled in a sort of sense. Meaning that's what they were raised, right? And how all those were raised. In other words, it's programming, conditioning that shouldn't be around. So it's not even that person's fault that it is. And if we, we, we wish wrong on those type of people, guess what? We are worse than them. Because now we're consciously wishing back on them what they unconsciously f- was instilled into them. Yes, they realize they know what they're doing. They do hate certain people, this and that. And I'm not referring to him, I'm referring in general. And in fact, I'm referring more to white racists. And no, not from America, just white, pale skin racists. And these, you can tell, not, not neither side of these are racist folk. They're just, hey, they're fucking with me. I'm defending myself. Or they were told, hey, they're fucking with us, so let's go defend themselves. And then no one wanted to go. But they said, you will be enemies of the people. And since this is wartime, you can even be shot. Which is technically a truth. Meaning that's a deserter. So something, someone, obviously is someone being programmed by something. Someone, some other entity. Like the other guy started saying in the beginning. Is sending out emails or something to tell people to to tell these reservists to do these things. And on my video, I said, look, half of them are these guys that are like reservists that really don't, are not there to really kill anyone or invade anyone. They were told something else. And then at least a third to even two thirds are just normal volunteer people who thought they were gonna go i know this sounds crazy guys but they thought they were gonna go for filming a movie and they're just gonna be seconds doubles this and that and we're gonna get paid and this is a week-long thing and i get to feed my family so much because i'm getting paid so much because i'm gonna do this for a whole week hell yeah that's cool and we're just pretending to be you know why i say that get this i don't give a fuck especially come on are you kidding me the country in question they're like the third most biggest superpower. I'm sorry, the, the Ukrainians are powerful people, but they will be obliterated in two, in less than two days. Are you kidding me? And again, not to take away anything from the Ukrainian people, because they are very strong people. Like I said, I found a woman confronting a whole army of men who don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm telling you. But anyways, the point is, is... No fucking country would paint on 
any type of marker, the same exact marker on every single vehicle with a fucking paintbrush, okay, or with a with, with tape. And sometimes I've seen it with tape. The only way you would do that is like, hey, we're pre pretending to be right. At least this is cool temporarily because uh, we have low budget and we look at how big this. We're already doing uh, this convoy. This costs a lot of money to do this. People were fooled. I'm telling you, and people were made believe, made to believe that it, this is not really a real invasion and this and that. Look, you can see it. We're just painting this on. This is not serious. And why the fuck would it have a Z? The letter Z, or what appears to be the letter Z, that, that doesn't represent no country, really. And the closest I can think of is, starts with the N and ends with the Z. <laughs> really? That's, and, and, and I'm telling you guys, and the other one is the real Z. Well, yeah, I mean... I'll tell you this much, Mr. Bob Marley was big on that, and I guarantee you, uh, we'll just say he was a lot like others that were being fooled, okay, uh, being because it was what? Hidden behind a guise of something so powerful, right? A powerful a higher being, this and that, or uh, was the main town, or that's not, I'll just say it that, the main town and the Matrix, right? Where, where are they going back to, right? Well, if you add an IS at the end, you'll get what, why they put the Z there. Because they're out of time. Their, their contract is due and they're desperate and they're trying to start something else so that they can keep living. If this, if, if this continues, they might just live and continue controlling the... I know this sounds crazy. But I'm telling you, the proof is everywhere. It's in your faces, but it's hard to see it. Especially when you see mainstream media. This is not mainstream media. And they began using this like cannon fodder because it's not real. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'll just say this much. It's, it, there's something going on against humanity. And they're trying to divide us more and more and more. And this is creating excuses for certain, would you say, very, very old people that pretend to be leaders. Okay. And not just in one country and several other ones. And, we'll, and you, we all know who are the hate, the true hated ones by the MSM, right? By the mainstreams, right? The, most of the ones that are truly hated, haven't you noticed, are the ones that are making real moves that truly did help their countries and their people and many other people, but they were made believe to not do that. And they just so happen to be the ones that really speak from their heart, from their core, from their gut, and they don't really have to read anything to, to really be professional or be a, 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 a proficient I'm telling you, not a single war in four years, and now this? <laughs> I'm telling you guys. I told people, you'll be shocked at the end. Both sides will be shocked. Um, oh, goodness. Yeah. yeah, they just want us to go home. Because they, everyone wants peace. And they want to go home. Ukrainians want them to go home because they don't want to fight them. Why would they? It's it's because Ukrainians would know like, yeah, we're going to fucking fight to the end, motherfuckers. But uh, we know that a lot of us will die. Most of us will die, but you're not going to take our country. And they can. They really can. Are you kidding me? The real ones, they really can. But they know that. That's why they don't want to fight them. And they're like, please just go. Leave us alone, we'll be in peace. And these guys are like, yeah, fuck, let us go, because we didn't want to do this. What the f We don't even know what was going on. See? We didn't know, we were just deceived and abandoned. And when they realized, they're like, what the fuck? And why are all these people running? Meaning the actor parts, and they're like, what the fuck? This is real, there's real bullets flying. There's a man right there shot in the neck. And this and that, because 
the real Ukrainians started defending themselves against a fucking invading country or what they thought is an invading country, right? So they ran and these guys were like the real actual reservists, the real Russian reservists are like, we were just deceived and abandoned. And then they had to leave because they had no power because they don't even fucking have bullets. So somebody from the side said he just arrived recently, meaning he barely joined the reserve thing. And you can tell he's a young dude and he doesn't need, he does, um, like, he's like, fuck, this is an awkward situation. I feel like a piece of shit now because I don't even remember my own unit because he's so fresh. He probably didn't even train much because he's a reservist. Holy fuck. Also for exercises, yeah, to the exercises. But it turned out, and then he goes, he, I wish they wouldn't have uh, uh, interrupted him. I wanted to see what he would say. That would be great, but it turned out what? That is obviously not an exercise, but he would have said something that we were lied to. Or what? what the fuck just happened? That is so weird. That just happened. Interesting. Um, this is odd. Let me close this up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Pause it if you need to. But this is odd that this came up. Out of nowhere, that came up. Things like this has been happening al throughout my life, where information just pops out of nowhere. And it's like, what? <laughs> And it means really nothing, but when certain things stick out and you research on it and you're like, wait, what the? It doesn't match what I was originally started with, but now this matches what I've been pondering about. It's so weird. Anyway, I don't know what this is. I haven't looked at it. I haven't had a chance. I'm just baffled and I'm trying to figure out what to do to get you guys. Yeah, here, this one. So again, that, that was an exercise. show what amounts to a 40 mile long um there's some other stuff on this one i forgot what it was but that proves so much but anyways um Same thing, uh, they're saying. No one wants war, okay? No one. They were they were not told they were going to war. They were told they were going to an exercise. This is not even the real actual Russian army guys, I'm telling you. What did that say? Okay. <laughs> so see? So he, I guess the Ukrainian nationalists are the ones that are actually the corrupted ones. Okay, there there are corrupted ones there um, that are on the side that are against humanity. 
and he's saying that he, they're not they're not even around like uh, but in all reality we'll just say it's under our eyes under our noses we'll say that but you think Chernobyl was taken over and Chernobyl actually has higher radiation now these people has nothing to do with either country in in question but I'll just say these people that are not that are against humanity are trying to do something very awful the ones with disease okay the true ones okay that that are uh, 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 making the moves the armchair quarterback dudes that their time is up but they will fail but it's gonna be scary for for quite some time guys especially the next three months is gonna be scary for all and some of this is coming to basically all, we'll just say all countries and you guys know where I'm from so if you know where I'm from and you're around from where I'm from yeah you best fucking prepare we've been trying to warn you guys for a long time different folks have been trying to tell you to have what food for at least maybe two weeks at least you should have at least two months in case you can't go out because if you go out you might risk dying because certain things are happening it's good against evil not any civil war not anything even though it's gonna be made to be that way to be seen that way to look that way Pretext of military exercises. They didn't know that. You know how they're not gonna kill anyone because they didn't have bullets. They were not told they were going to invade. That was not the M.O., man. And I'm telling you, the, <laughs> the Ukrainians are playing by the rules, obviously, not only that, but they realize something's not right here. <laughs> These folk really don't want to come to harm us at all. Not the ones in front of our faces. Without a mask so we can see them. It is nonsense. And I also thought, okay, maybe these are actors, you know, they're being pressured and this and that. I mean, actors as in like... Um, Yeah, even, even from their side, and they're just pretending to be captives of, you know, and, and they're saying this. But no, you can see it in their body language that these guys are real people that are really scared for their life. They had no clue what the fuck is going on, and they realize what the world thinks or what they the, the captors think. And they're like, wait, what the fuck? It, wait. And they're scared for their life because, yeah, that, that will... That would take like beheadings and shit in some places. For someone to be trying to invade, where, you know, home where you have your family and loved ones and all that. Yeah, people will fight to the end, man. If they have to, to defend it, yes. But that's not... <laughs> Watch, read. So at 5 a.m. they got ordered to leave. So it, he was, they were expecting it. I guarantee you they were at the, at the reserve uh, uh, or National Guard, you know, station, which is usually just a small, like a plaza parking lot. But it's instead of having uh, 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 grocery stores, things like that, where you can buy things, is 
buildings that have military equipment and we go there and we train we meet there and then we go other places to train there in the woods things like that whatever it may be but we never take bullets we never need bullets because we're training their exercises Which is typical, yeah, and they would, I would see how they would think, like, yeah, okay, cool, no problem, I can see how this is an uh, FTX, final training exercise, FTX, final training exercise, exercise, is what we call this, they call it the same thing, because it's, that's what it is, it's just training, it's practice, it's exercise. So he's not pretending, guys. He, he can see it in his eyes. And it. Ah, look at that. It is not here as our TV shows. What TV? What area is he from? Do they see the same TV we see? No, but still, we know what we see, or at least some of us know the truth, meaning... <laughs> How the, the untruths that are shown in our TVs. It's not, it is not here as our TV shows. Because he honestly can't explain it because he's all like, I thought we were coming here for an exercise. Like how the fuck can you stand down from that? So... <laughs> Meaning, he understands everything perfectly well because when he was asked that question, yeah, duh, I would defend my fucking wife and kids, yeah, I would do the same thing. In other words, I understand what you're doing. Because I would have done the same exact thing is what he's saying. So I, I, that's why he's like speechless. He's like, fuck, I don't know what the fuck to say. Like, I, I feel so dishonored right now. I feel so betrayed. He feels betrayed. But it's not even the actual country that betrayed. And I try to warn people several years. Be ready for the fucking betrayal, man. All over. It's not just one from another. It's, the betrayal is going to be shown everywhere because they're... they're it, Division. Oh goodness. Look at this guy, the youngest one most likely. Russian we were going to training exercises, military exercises. To the right to the Russian border town. So they weren't really going to go to cross over to Ukraine. To sit in car columns. You don't do that in an invasion. You don't just sit in car columns. This is stupid. He didn't reply anything, just follow the column. And he's like, not him, just all of them. They're like, Wait, what, what do you mean? We're at the border, like, this is weird that we're doing this. What are we, what's going on? Mm -hmm. 
потеряли колонну. Какого года? Первого сана ближайшего. Какая территория? See, and that's how they were confused. Like, wait, why do we have to go to the other side? And we don't know any tasks or goals. They weren't told anything. And militaries don't do that. I don't care how. St and you know, we're talking about a very powerful country here. We, they don't make these type of mistakes. No uh, superpower country, even if you're not the top ones, even if you're in the top 10, if you're the lowest of the top 10, we don't do these mistakes. We don't tell no one that nothing. Hell no. In fact, we tell the lowest enlisted. I don't, I don't care what country you're from, what army. It's just natural. It's normal. It's stupid not to. But we tell even the lowest enlisted what the highest knows. Yes, the lowest enlisted do not know the top secret you know, knowledge, but they know every little detail of the mission in case the, the big one goes down or the top one goes down. Even the, 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 lower, the lowest enlisted knows how to continue because we will not surrender. No one will surrender. Well, you can't. Think about it. If, if you really had intentions, I'm telling you, they will sit in you and they... It wouldn't... Yeah, I'm telling you guys, this is... This game that they're playing, not the people that are involved, meaning the ones that are controlling this weird thing that people don't see that is, huh, this is against humanity what's happening. This is not against one country or another. This is obviously against humanity what's happening left and right, left and right, every single second. It's not even like a, week, a, a break of a week. That's how, meaning... And not even a break of a month, a break of a, a 10 days. That goes to show you something's wrong here and it has nothing to do with real people because we don't think this way. See, all of them are confused as fuck. They're like, there's no way. There's no way our, our military told us to do this. There's no way our country, uh, our president told us to do this. What the fuck is going on? This doesn't make sense. And look, all of them look so young and so innocent. Like, it's crazy. Look, not even us want war with Russia. No one, not even China, no one. Vice versa, no one wants war with us. With, no one truly wants war with the U.S. Army. No one truly wants war with the fucking, are you kidding me, with the Chinese Army? No one, especially not a smaller country. He knows that, and he's not saying that with pride. But it's just like, it's stupid to want to fight a small little country that is neighboring a very powerful country. It's stupid to want to fight them. So it's like, they, they don't want war with us. This is stupid what we're doing here. What, what technically they are doing there, what they told them that they should, that they were supposed to be doing there and then it didn't turn out that way. Yeah. Oh, that was weird. Was that the end of it? See? What, what the hell just happened? Why did it end like Anyhow. So let's finish off with this. Hopefully, we don't need to show you everything. Russia... I must reiterate again, it's not a chance in hell Russia is going to back out of Ukraine. It's absolutely impossible. There's only one way that that would occur that I could see. Only one very, very slight way that would occur. And that is if there were a, a, a toppling vis-a-vis -vis the oligarchs or uh, somewhere in the Kremlin. Uh, a toppling? And I was just about to say, look, <laughs> it's... 
I was going to say, it's blatantly obvious, but no, only to some military strategists and to some strategists who, and to some people who dedicated their life to strategy will realize, well, anyways, I was going to say, hmm, maybe they're working together, at least these two countries in question. Okay, and they're eliminating the ones that are trying to control other countries. Would you say that much? And I was going to say, there, like how he's saying that there's no way Russia's going to back out of this. That's because he truly is protecting not just Russian people, not just Ukrainian people who are technically Russian in all reality in the long run. Um, it's just Ukraine is a different part of Russia. It makes sense. I mean, I don't want to insult anyone, but overall, meaning we should all be one. We're all people. But what certain individuals realize is that there's a big hub there right under. It might not be under the actual city of Ukraine and things like that, but it a sense behind plain sight, in other words, hidden amongst the people there that has nothing to do with Ukrainian people, and they realize this. And it's not just there, it's everywhere. They try to do it in Venezuela. They try to do it in many places in this past few years. In Zimbabwe, none of you heard about that one. Look it up. Zimbabwe, I think it was like 2016, 2017, somewhere around there. And you'd be like, wait, what? It happened? Indonesia, Malaysia, sorry. In Malaysia it happened. I think even in the, Indonesia actually, recently. And they kicked them out. Everyone, ever heard of rent? Renta? Back in the old, 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 old days? Of the Italians, and it wasn't the Italian people. The Italian people didn't like it, but mafiosos, mafia would go around collecting rent to business establishments. And if you didn't pay up, they burn it down. They burn it down. They burn it down. Keep that in mind. When you don't pay up, they burn it down. Well, guess what? Not just people, but countries are starting to stand up and say, look, that this night, we're no longer going to take that. That's it. And everybody started st sticking up, standing up. It happened in Canada. It's happening everywhere. We're about to face it ourselves. It won't last very long, especially not here, since so many people are armed. But they will try because they're so desperate. It's their last attempt. You'll see. So they're trying to drive all attention that way. And watch. They're going to try to attempt it here. You'll see. That's what he's warning us about. And many others are, are warning us about it. I'm telling you guys. So what I was saying, I was going to say, maybe they're going to take out the underground factions. And he just said, top. What's the opposite of top? Under. Right? Nothing is coincidence. Of, uh, of uh, Vladimir himself. But uh, barring that extremely slim happening, it's not going to happen. This is not a proxy war. I don't know if you're aware of history at all. But the United States had a proxy war in Vietnam. I mean, the Russians were supplying... Vietnam with munitions to fight Americans as a proxy war. The United States toppled the Soviet Union due to a proxy war in Afghanistan. They even made a movie about it, you know? Um, and they were discreet about it, to a point. I mean, the Russians knew what was going on. What the best and finest experts in the world have uh, said that uh, the Kremlin and Putin had assumed was that uh, Germany, because they get so much... Uh, uh, liquid natural, liquefied natural gas and uh, oil from Russia, that they would dis, uh, that they would uh, you know, split ways with NATO as far as what's going on, but not only did Germany stick with NATO, NATO, uh, every expert says the same thing, NATO has gotten super strong, it's like a weak quasi-dying entity and now it's incredibly strong, Germany not only joined, but since Germany's been banned from shipping uh, munitions and whatnot abroad due to the fact that you know, they're responsible for World War I and World War II. They're shipping over javelins and stingers. The United States is contributing $400 million of uh, munitions vis-a-vis uh, -vis stingers and javelins. Uh, there's two other countries that are also, too, contributing. There's been a huge, what every expert says, and they're not wrong, is that Germany was hoping that NATO and Germany would uh, fracture. Russia was hoping that uh, NATO and Germany would fracture, and the opposite happened. This is not a proxy war. The United States, Germany, and several other uh, uh, countries are fast shipping stingers and javelins uh, over the border, 
And these are designed to do one thing and one thing only. There is absolutely no dispute about this. They're designed to uh, end Russians. I'm not taking any position on that. I'm stating a fact. I'm not, you know, I don't want to see anybody, you know, lose their, uh, you know, lose their life. I don't want that at all, but that's what they are designed for. The reason why, <clears throat> and there's three reasons why, I mentioned this on Facebook and also, too, on Instagram, why I said Russia would drastically escalate. I said this last yesterday on Sunday, over the next few days and even further than that, but definitely today, and it has happened, and tomorrow will be worse, and the third will be even worse, is that before all of those javelins and stingers can make their way across from Poland, and I think one other entry point, I don't think it's Romania, is that he's moving lightning fast speed as fast as he can to bring in as much forces and decapitate the government of Ukraine. Before that happens, also too, he's moving slower than he anticipated, meet, met greater resistance, but once again, Russia has not even begun to clear its throat yet, much less sing if you will. And by saying, I mean, you know, roll really, really hard on Ukraine. It's costing uh, Russia anywhere between 15 and 20 billion dollars a day to conduct this. They thought they'd be more further along. But regardless of that fact, they will not allow the time. You know, they're not going to putter around what all of those stingers and javelins, which are coming in, and Germany is supplying it. Russia, every expert and complete agreement was not... Uh, Russia thought that uh, Germany, since they are uh, using Russia as a lifeline for much of their energy, not much of, but a great deal of their energy, they thought that they would split with NATO on that, on the actions. But the opposite happened, so. This is not a proxy war. Um, I'm going to ask you a question, and, you know, the answer is bleeding obvious to anybody with a half a brain. What happens when you back a fanged animal into a corner? What happens? It's got nothing left to lose. NATO, the United States, Germany, and two other countries, and possibly others that we don't know about, are kicking, are literally kicking a large growling dog. Period. They're doing that. And I'm not saying Russia is a dog. I'm just using an analogy here, okay? If you're Russian, don't. I was not calling Russia or anybody in Russia a dog. I have plenty of Russian friends, and I have several Ukrainian friends also. By the way, all of this reeks to high heaven. I'm the furthest thing away from tinfoil hat, uh, you know, lunacy, and I can't stand the emails that I get on stuff like that. If you got evidence and logic to back it up, I'll always listen to it. It's just wackadoodle stuff. I'm not interested. This reeks so hardcore. It's like a Koof version 2.0. You know, the Koof. Nobody's afraid of the Koof anymore. Nobody's talking about the Koof anymore, right? If anything good would come out of this, not that it's good. There's nothing good that comes out of uh, conflict, especially what's going on right now. You know, is that nobody is talking about the coup anymore. We are closer to World War III than we ever had since the Cuban Missile Crisis. Hardcore. If you follow a chain of events, A leads to B, B leads to C, I mean, things are really, really bad. And I'm not saying that Russia should roll heavy all over Ukraine, which is exactly what they're doing. But everybody, not everybody, 99% of the world right now thinks that Russia is, uh, you know, dropping the heavy on Ukraine. And superficially, from the countless thousands of videos all over Twitter and everywhere, it's like, they are, it's like, look what they're doing. You know, they're, this happened, and that, look, that atrocity. I mean this seriously, and you better believe me, because I'm a thousand percent right on this. I tell you with one thousand percent assurance, Russia has not even begun to clear its throat on what it can do and what it will do in the next coming hours and days. Period. There is not even a debate about it. Period. It's, um, it's obvious. And the fact that the United States and NATO, and Germany especially, uh, the Chancellor of Germany to stay... Um, and get these, all that he's mentioning right now... It's not the real governments. It's not our real people. It's not our real leaders. The ones that are pretending to be our leaders right now are being controlled, I swear, by things that are against humanity. Things that are against humanity. Um, 
I forget what the sort of rejection that was made, you know, the, the, the German parliament or whatever that is, said no to, uh, you know, shipping in armaments to Ukraine so that Ukraine could, you know, fight off the invasion, and uh, the chancellor, no, so they are shipping that over. Um, Russian ruble lost over 30% of its value. I don't care what you think about Russia or Russians. You know, I lived in Russia for a long time. I don't care what you... I just stick yourself in their mindset. What if you woke up and overnight the, the dollar was worth 30... For, for a while there, it was, worth, it was a lot less than 30%. What would you happen if you woke up and your Deutschmark or your pound or your dollar was uh, worth, uh, you know, 70% of what it was before you went to bed? Once again, you know, we got a giant fanged animal that's in a corner that's growling, and NATO and a few other NATO, United States, and a few other countries are really, really, you know, sticking it in the ribs to uh, to Russia. And it's a response like, well, you know, you've done this invasion, sanction this, sanction that, blah blah blah. They're talking about not letting Russian commercial aircraft fly over Canada or Europe, and that, by the way, is a de facto act of war. If that happens, Europe and especially the United States, I hate to say it, but it's undeniable, are really a thousand percent ignorant about Russia and Russians. They really are. Yes. I mean, it's really, really sad. And it's just due to propaganda, you know? Yep. I don't suffer from this, uh, you know... Dirty commie, you know, that, that sort of uh, stuff. You know, I'm no fan of communism or socialism for that matter. I don't care about politics, okay? Yep. I don't care about that. I don't suffer these delusions that Americans, especially American politicians, some of the most unintelligent people on this earth, undeniably so, they really are completely ignorant about Russia. Um, Russia promises, and Lavrov reiterated this, that the European Union will face a uh, harsh harsh response for its support of Ukraine. And by support, I mean shipping in tons of advanced uh, military munitions, these are these stingers and javelins. Because these devices are being shipped in from the United States across the Polish border and one other country's border. Uh, sorry, I can't remember which. and I know, I'm pretty sure it's not Romania. It could be Hungary, but it could be wrong on that. But definitely across Poland. These are designed and... Uh, not designed, but are meant... Remember this, they're being shipped from here, right? Well, what, what do, what supposedly, or we did, obviously, but why? That was no accident, guys. Why did we leave that behind in F? Again, it's stand, and they try to, remember this, they try to do the same thing that they did in Venezuela, they try to do it in other places in Canada, um, they try to do it in Ukraine, and this is why both, Ukraine and Russia are protecting it, but medias are making it seem otherwise, because why you never let a good crisis go to waste? Not only this, wasn't the mainstream media and certain people in certain offices in the U.S. got everything to the dot correct? That's how smart we are, right? No, 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 no. The best way you can predict the future accurately to the T is to create it. I'm not saying anything. I just gave you an observation. That's all I'm saying. Okay, the best way to predict the future to the T, everything happened to the T as they said it would, is to create it. Meant for one thing and one thing only. I'm not interested in what your position on it is, nor mine. Ending Russians. They're designed for ending Russians. Like, Yeah, completely. And what I was saying, I forgot to finish that. I try to do it in Venezuela. I try to do it in different places. They try to do it in Kaz uh, 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 Kazakhstan. Is that what it is? Kaz Kazakhstan? Goodness. It, was, it just recently happened. Most of you didn't even know about it. They try to do the same thing there that they try to do in Venezuela and Ukraine and all these places and, and Canada. And the people themselves fought back and it just completely disappeared out of the face of the, of the story of, of, of the media right away. Right away. And they never brought anything back up about it. 
That goes to show you guys, something is against humanity and they just want to keep bringing stories up to keep you in fear and this and that and keep you distracted. Guys, something is happening, is, is coming here. Be very, very careful, very weary. It's already here, technically. And it has to do beyond people and they're using people to try to eliminate humanity. It's against humanity. It really is. What's happening, it's against humanity and all of you are not seeing it. And, that, and that's why I get so, um, and it's blatantly obvious, guys. It's blatantly there. And, and you guys don't see it. And this, a lot of you, a lot of you, and not you just listening. You as in general. I'm, just, I'm universal. I'm meaning in general. And that's what why I get emotional sometimes in the sense of explosive when I, I get so excited because I'm hoping that you guys can hear this and this and that and it's sad. So I'm going to stop. I noticed that, so I'm going to stop because it's obviously you guys are choosing to turn the cheek because, yes, it sounds so crazy. Why would you want to believe this? I don't believe this. I know certain things and I'm just exposed. Expressing an observation, expressing notes, and how certain individuals have saying notes just about as certain other intellectual individuals do. And that's not even to me talking about me. It's not even to my own horn. But I just so happen to have the same conclusions that this gentleman has and several others that are not mainstream, I'll tell you that much. Warns the West against supplying lethal weapons. Russia promises the EU will face harsh response for support of Ukraine. Here's what's going to happen. Now, of course, they used uh, thermobaric. That's not been confirmed, but they did use cluster munitions, which are just randomly carpeting. You know, they they indiscriminately go after anybody, anything, dog, grandma, anything. That is not targeted. That was confirmed use today by Russia. Multiple convoys. Each convoy, convoy over 10 miles long, one of them 40 miles long, over 40 miles long. And two of those convoys, confirmed from satellite pictures, are three abreast. Okay, it's not like, you know, vehicle after vehicle heading into uh, Ukraine. There are three abreast. It's going to get brutal. Because the Ukrainians themselves have, and every indication from every source on Earth confirms, including from the Ukrainians themselves, okay? Dominyaslish said that they are going to fight, 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 you know, defend the homeland. Don't take a position on this one way or the other. That with what they're being given to fight with. I mean, that's, that's not a proxy war anymore. It's not like Vietnam. You know, which was a proxy war, and Afghanistan, which was a proxy war. And in Afghanistan, we were discreet because we were using shipping in, other than the Stingers, the Soviet weaponry to the Afghanis, you know, to, to, fight, uh, to fight Russia. Now the entire world, and something that's totally different about this versus Afghanistan or even Iraq, or um, yeah, Iraq, Afghanistan, Vietnam is now everybody on this earth has a cell phone camera and social media. The world is a whole lot smaller than it used to be. Now everything becomes incredibly apparent to everybody. Everybody's got a camera, they're filming it all. When it starts getting really, really heavy against Ukraine in the next few days, which it is, what do you think those convoys are doing? Coming in to sell ice cream? I mean, really, come on, let's be honest. What do you think... We got 40 miles, 20 miles, all these convoys headed directly into the heart of you. What do you think they're doing? What? United States, NATO, and I know what Russia's doing in Ukraine, okay? I'm not interested in taking a position on this. Even though the position isn't blatant to anybody with two eyes and a half a brain. I'm just talking about empirical facts, like... You know, there are people, and I used to play chess. I was a chess champion in high school. I haven't played chess in forever. You can see two or three, four movements. See? <laughs> you can see three or four movements ahead of time. But see, I'm telling you, this guy's a brilliant man. He knows how to project because of the game of chess. You have to project ahead in time to see where your opponent is going with that move that he did seven moves ago. Things like that. Before we continue, I want to show you this. Look. This is what I'm referring to. Okay. 
All right, so check this out. So please don't worry. Thankfully, this old, it was an old gentleman inside that vehicle. He survived. And I'm sorry I had to show you this, but look, the original video that I found way before it, it, I don't even know if they're showing, yeah, they have, they have showed it actually in the mainstream, but way before it came on the mainstream, it was like two days before, was from a Ukrainian in Ukraine saying that the Ukraine, the Ukrainians ran over this vehicle. They don't understand why, right? Then a day later, almost two days later, that's when it started to come out on the mainstream. And then I seen another one that said a Russian uh, soldier stole a Ukrainian tank. So no matter what, everybody's there in the same page that this is a Ukrainian tank, right? But then again, this is the tank that shows another video, vi uh, video that both the one from Ukrainian, anyone, there, there is no doubt that this vehicle is the one that is the invading country. So why did the Ukrainian say that a Ukrainian uh, uh, tank ran over this uh, 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 civilian. Not only that, the other ones said that a Russian soldier stole the Ukrainian tank and did this. But this is the one that has the Z on it. So no. So even though yes, it's technically Ukrainian or everybody's thinking it's Ukrainian, it's not actual Ukrainian. Something is pretending to be all these players. And it's a it's humanity. And I'm telling you, look, this, if there was a real person in there, because these could be unmanned now. Okay? These could be remote control now. These huge things. So if there was someone in here, it was not a normal person, meaning it was a psychopath. It was not even <laughs> from the Russian army or from the Ukrainian army. But it was a Ukrainian tank, but it's the one that has a C. Because they showed in another video, I have it, it, it shows a convoy, and this is a bunch of them that come in it. And they have the Z. Those are the real true bad guys that are pretending to be both sides guys. And, but, but, trust me guys, well, you don't have to. But, the true leaders, and very few we know are actually... Uh, a part of this thing technically according to the, the story and everything they know what's going on and we are going to take out this evil thing out of the face of the planet <laughs> people who you least expect my brothers and sisters are working together meaning real humans that we least expect and some of which are play big players on this or at least from the story itself <laughs> are actually working together because we realize man it has nothing to do with JFK that try to warn us and all these other people that try to warn us about these other people that are against humanity and it started to get very rampant shortly after 1947 not just here in America but elsewhere Notice the things that came out shortly after 1947. So, what I'm saying also is check this out. So, when they back up, you can tell. See, they show different ones. You can tell this guy was just going all everywhere. So, this is what I'm saying. Look, even if it was a Russian, this wouldn't be allowed. Why? Because if you're invading, you don't want to do things like this because you don't want the people to really get really aggravated and be rebellious. Or, or not only that, what if they, they're not that, but then they won't comply and they will be against you. So you wouldn't want to do this whether you're in the invading country or the defending one. Like the original Ukrainian said that a Ukrainian tank did that to a civilian. So why would a Ukrainian himself think that his own tank did that? Because that's what he thought. That's what he's seen. And he's just reporting what he's seen. But it was a psychopath. Meaning a real person that was in prison from who knows what country. And are being sent to do part of this mission, uh, mercenary work. 
Like, have you heard the true story of Australia? There's nothing against against pale-skinned Australian people, but their ancestors were the worst convicts and things like that of certain countries that were taken there so that the original uh, 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 folk would not get hurt and let these low lives that are gonna die anyways that are that are prisoners that are awful people rapists and this and that and murderers and uh, 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 people who are insane go over there and take over as much as they can the aborigine and that's actually an insult to call them aborigine okay but the original dark skinned people from australia but thankfully the now the people from australia the pale skinned people of australia for, for the most part have transcended in transmuted that and there's nothing like that anymore they're beautiful people inside and out and no one wants war so the same thing is happening you have a part of them are are uh, uh, uh convicts and things like that from who knows what country okay and the other ones were just tricked and some were really thinking that this is just like they were just technically crisis actors and there wouldn't be any real students in this and that but I'm telling you guys, we are going to be liberated as hum as humans, and we're being distracted, guys. I swear, goodness. <laughs> when you see the and they're not real police officers, guys. Okay, they're not real people who think uh, uh, real. Uh, 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 um, uh, uh, how can I put this? They're not real. Um, civilians that care about their communities that are protecting and serving their communities the ones that we're going to be seeing in the media very soon the police state wearing yellow jackets when they go on strike all hell is going to break loose on purpose but that's going to be their last straw and especially when it happens here in america and once we clean up that who knows how long it will take because there's still some pretty hot people out there that are still programmed and have a lot of things in them that can be triggered and activated easily. I swear I cannot make this up and it's not a cons, a, a, a cons piracy, uh, uh, thought, theory, what not. This is proven facts <laughs> before the 1947s. But that's one of the main things that has been utilized to program so many ideology, ideologies and things like that. So anyhow, goodness. So I'm telling you, the different angles show, so see, this thing was going crazy all over. It's like, how come it didn't run over that one and this one and that one? This person is just, it's not even a Russian against people. It's just a fucking psychopath. So luckily the man survived and everything. Okay, so enough of this. Four moves ahead. You know, that's what made you a good chess player. Seeing two moves ahead on what's happening in Ukraine, because they're not, Russia's not going to back down. It's not going to happen, girlfriend. It's not. So you have two things, but, and humorously, and it's not humorous at all. What happens when you have an uh, immovable object meets an unstoppable force? Russia is not going to back down. The United States, Germany, and two other countries confirming sending in tons of advanced uh, munitions to do one thing and one thing only. End Russians. <coughs> like that. All of this playing out ten gazillion cell phones in Ukraine. Yeah? To the rest of the world. What do you... Excuse me, I'm eating, but I had to before I forget. Russia is doing things right. They were doing things right. Venezuela, I know some of you be like, oh, what the fuck? Even some of you that are Venezuelan, that actually have lived there, will say, you're fucking crazy and this and that. I'm telling you, that's how fucking good the programming is, that it makes you think that bad, that you can even see it in your own country, that you guys were doing things right that are against the system. And this is why they try to stop you guys and they try to usurper. There's these usurpers, these infiltrators that try to take over your government and you guys didn't let it happen and you guys don't realize that. Some of you still hate Mr. M 
Yeah, he has done some bad things, but he has realized what's really going on and how they were taken advantage of by the same people that were trying to take advantage of the Ukrainian people that did took advantage of Russians, but then Russians fought back and got it back a few years back in the late 80s, 90s, what, what not. I'm telling you guys, we're about to be liberated. You need to stop. You need to stop being fucking driven and triggered. I'm not triggered. I'm, I'm in full control of my emotions and everything. I know what I'm doing. I am trying to trigger you as well if you even got this far. And you should because you should care about your family and your life and your country and this and that enough to know that if you care, you help your country, hopefully the other countries get liberated as well and we're all one. Not as one world order, no. They made us be afraid of that. Notice that? They made us be afraid of the rainbow. Notice that? Because rainbows are seven colors at least, which is what? Seven chakras at least. Be afraid of the rainbow so that you won't raise your consciousness. Goodness. What do you think Russia's going to do? I don't care what you think about Russia one way or the other. Huh? What do you think they're going to do? The world has never been closer to World War III. Actually, I think we're closer. Way closer, actually. Than the, the Cuban Missile Crisis. Way closer than the Cuban Missile Crisis. Whew. Once again, I'm not a doom and gloomer. I'm not a chicken little. The sky's falling for a person. Not any way, shape, or form. I'm not like that at all. There is a lot of stuff building to a head here. Like a, one of those, I've seen videos of it accidentally on TikTok. Yeah. I don't really watch TikTok. I think I saw it on Instagram. Like somebody had like this giant pimple on the back of their neck, like this big. And that's what's going on in Ukraine right now. And, and you got NATO and the uh, United States and Germany and two other countries sitting here poking this gigantic, obnoxiously titanic zit. It's just ready to... You know, Afghanistan is not a nuclear country. Neither was Vietnam. Yeah. Neither is Ukraine now. They, they gave them up, like, uh, in the late, mid-1990s. This isn't like some sort of quiet proxy war that's going on. The whole world knows, at least anybody that knows what's going on. Anyway, all of this reeks to high heaven. Actually, what it does is it reeks to high hell. Tell me what you think. I read every comment. But, uh, so far, I've been 100% right. I don't want to be right on this, because being sure. right on this means that everybody loses. And by everybody, I mean everybody! Mm -hmm. I hope I'm wrong on this, because I don't want to be right on this. Same here. Exactly. I'm almost certain he sees the same thing I see, and I cannot say it. First of all, there's no words for it. Is that advanced? That <laughs> goodness, awful. I'll just put it that way. But it can easily be overcome by us, and they they know that. The ones that are against humanity know that, and if we come together. Literally, just our energy alone does amazing things. <laughs> I don't want to be right this time. I want to get it wrong. Same here. I'd love to get don't mean to be sound, don't mean to sound arrogant or egotistical or like a uh, 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 maltrained man <laughs> by eating with my mouth full, but I have to release this before I forget to mention it. But I, I honestly, not to sound arrogant, arrogant or egotistical, I hope I'm wrong. I really do. I really do. I'd love to get it wrong on this one. I don't want to be right on this one. Shit. Tell me about it. Tis the eve of Mahashivratri. Yeah, Shiva. And I just mentioned that because my cat is named Shiva. This Shiva, not the other typical cat Shiva name, which is like S H E E B A or something like that. Shiva, no, this Shiva, and I mean the real Shiva. Okay, 
Yeah, destroyer. But what happens after it destroys something? Meaning after a fire comes, a natural fire in the forest. Life comes because of the uh, uh, chemicals reaction involved with all that. The, when the ashes and all that, uh, the phoenix rises out of the ashes. The phoenix rises out of the ashes. Sorry. <laughs> Anyhow. As that gotta get going one love one light put together a light with so much brighter just please remember that we can we have no control over this all we can do is ignore ignore the mainstream media and try to stay in high vibration with what's in front of you your family your friends try to obviously keep your job this and that because right now things are difficult odd strange but keep your cells c e l l s cellulas cellular level in a cellular level keep yourself as much as possible, as optimized as possible, and that's that. That's all you can do. Adapt, adjust, and overcome. Simple. But if you keep listening, our energy is going to get lowered, and we're going to help negativity. We're going to get help evil with our lowered vibrations. It truly is that simple. This is why there's so much bad stuff being propagated only in the mainstream. Because a lot of people see the mainstream. It's to keep your vibrations low. Shut that shit off, man. Or at least don't go to the mainstream stuff. Really look for people who really are releasing information that there is no way that you can judge for yourself and you're not being told what to think. Goodness. Love you all. One long, one life for together. Life was so much brighter.